Welcome to another 2dgameartguru.com tutorial. This one is about seamless textures or seamless patterns. What you see on the screen right now is a seamless pattern made of a simple pumpkin from an earlier tutorial and a text. It also will work for seamless ground tiles and that's something we'll be covering later. For now let me just explain you a quick and easy way to create seamless patterns in Inkscape. The key to this is that we have one square. Let me hide the others. So this is our central square. And if I take this one, now select it and duplicate it and paste it all around, you can see that it works nicely. Come on, move the layer and seamlessly with the other tiles. The trick to that is really restricting everything to one square. To show you how to do it, let's choose something a little simpler. We have the same effect here with a 3x3 three three grid of blue background, yellow star squares. At the center of that is one square. The square shape functions as a clip for the stars. So let's just start creating. I have my square and I already created a few stars. The main thing about the square is that we have to set the size, the width and the height to an exact number. So I'll set both of them to 200. Uh, you can set them to 100, um, 400, whatever suits you. Uh, just remember that it should be the same height and width. Now let's just align this one to the center of the document. Okay. And the main thing with this is that we now set the steps in our preference. The preferences comes up with uh, shift control P. Um, in here you have under behavior a tab called steps and it defines the arrow key movement. So each time you press an arrow key up, down, left, right whatever is selected gets moved that amount of pixels. Now we set that to the same number as the width and height of our square. The result of that is if I take my star, put it on the edge here, duplicate it and move it over, it is at the exact position to the border of my square as the one on the left. So when I put them together afterwards it will tile seamlessly and that's pretty much the whole trick. Let's go through the process of creating a whole one. So we have one star in there. We don't need to worry about the stars that are not touching the edge. So this one we duplicate and move down and if we put this one here it also needs to be over there. If something is on the corner here. It would have to be duplicated to the left, to the bottom and <coughs> to the right as well. So we have it on all four corners. <coughs> so we move that one away and just fill our space in here a little bit. Just see what looks nice. Maybe this one can go here and then appear again up there. Oh, I don't like this one. Something smaller can go here. So I just place my tile, try to fill it in a nice way. This one is too big. I ran out of space for a big one. So let's grab a smaller one. This one. And scale this one down. And duplicate another small one here. Rotate it a little bit. Okay, now that was a wrong move. Once you placed tiles 
on the edge if you want to move them select both or if they are on the corners all four of them then you can move them around and it'll still tile once you start moving just one side it won't connect to the other side afterwards so same here if I want to place that a little bit more up here this one here if I choose like with this one to rotate it I need to delete the copy and then I can place it and create a new duplicate okay now I've pretty much filled it when you do it properly take your time fill the pattern nicely to come on to have an even spacing if that's what you're after if you want something uneven or uh, just uh, slightly weird looking just place them <coughs> just keep the borders in mind this is where the tiles need to dupli be duplicated now we take the square we duplicate that which brings it all the way to the front I select everything and with a come on object clip set put everything into one clip now we have a one object I like to group it just for easier selection so I don't accidentally move move parts of it while I select now if we duplicate this one you can see that our tiles line up perfectly so creating a seamless pattern pretty simple as long as you stick to shapes no gradients in the tile because if I would start to give the ground tile a, a gradient the seamless pattern wouldn't work because the gradient needs to be seamless as well which would then mean that only a circular fill with some tweaking would work so we leave that for now it's a plain color background and objects on top those objects can be pretty much anything like you see we have had the text and hmm, I was too fast the text and the Halloween pumpkins uh, can work with whatever you can come up with as long as you remember to set the step distance for your cursor keys to the same width as your square that concludes part one next one will be on how to use this to create a ground tile and work with grass water and ground textures to create the same effect that's about it a quick little tip but very helpful when you want to tile anything seamlessly for fabrics, patterns or game art. The follow-up tutorial will be coming up soon so make sure to check the channel and my blog. See you then. Bye.